Hey guys, welcome back to Tyler's Tech World, and today we have uh, the 17 inch PowerBook G4 to restore. So, without further ado, let's get to restoring this thing, eh? So what we have today, as stated in the intro, is a 17-inch PowerBook G4 to restore today. This particular one is the 1 gigahertz G4. It has been upgraded to 2 gigabytes of RAM and an 80 gigabyte hard drive by the previous owner. And it has for graphics NVIDIA GeForce 4, 440Go graphics. And of course, the giant, beautiful 17-inch widescreen display with the first ever backlit keyboard which because it is so old some of the lights on there are starting to fail unfortunately but it's all good it still rel works relatively good uh let's take you guys on a tour of the machine as you can see the top of it is in immaculate shape and on this side we have your security your kensington lock your power input 56k modem usb I believe this is 1.1 or 2.0, I think it's 2.0, excuse me. And then a PCMCIA slot for expansion, line in and headphone jack. Other side, you have another USB port, FireWire 400, FireWire 800, gigabit ethernet, S video out and DVI out. And on the bottom, we have your giant removal battery and your access to your RAM. And there's model number and date if you guys want to see that. It is missing one screw on the, on the bottom. I checked through all my screw bin. I can't find one. And it's the only other screw in the system that looks like that is the on the other side. So I can't really take that from that. So I was not going to do a video on this machine because it came in this condition. Absolutely immaculate. And I did also try cleaning the power cord with just Windex and stuff. I don't know why the camera's not picking that up. It's still kind of meh. But it's going in my closet into my little power grid that I have run for all my laptops and stuff to keep the batteries charged. But one thing I noticed was that my left speaker doesn't work. So I'm, I took that opportunity. I was like, hey, contact. Let's see if we can fix the speaker in this thing. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to be taking apart this PowerBook G4 and attempting to fix my left speaker. Now, it could be just that the speaker's broken. It could just be that it's unplugged. It could be whatever. I already tried re resetting, the, resetting the PRAM and NVRAM, and none of it fixed it. So, yeah. It is picking up my left speaker, I believe. Sorry, I'm just moving my tripod a little bit. It is picking up the left speaker, but it just doesn't play out of that speaker. So that's where it gets slightly tricky. So now we're going to start taking apart this power book. Check out my left speaker. Okay, let's get zoomed in to the item at hand, which is my left speaker. Where is my speaker cable? Okay, it's a Hitachi drive. I'm enjoying just inspecting this thing. I like just looking inside old computers. 
You know, it, everything seems plugged in. Everything seems okay. Maybe just lightly tap on it. You know, those hinges seem healthy still. After all these years. There's my ambient light sensor, I believe. Okay, let's just plug it in. There we go. Okay, now let's put this thing back together, eh? That was slightly a failure, I believe, but we will see. back in flip her around open it up yay it still works not that I was scared about it not working at all let's see does it work all the way do it still did I fix it or did I just take apart a power book to just Try and fix it. Let's see. Let fix that camera angle for you guys. It has a fresh installed Mac OS 10.5 on it. Leopard. snow leopard but this particular Mac can't handle snow leopard this, when snow leopard was released that's when they started requiring Intel CPUs in these machines yeah 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 probably because I unplugged it or something no I don't want to join a network right now let's turn airport off let's see Go into system preferences and then you see. Mm. Same glare on the screen. Yeah. Now let's see. Sound. Do you guys have it? Let's see. Nope. to solely left. Nope, nothing. All right, well, it's all good still. There's the about this Mac thing for it. This machine, back in 2003 when it was released, retailed for a whopping $3,299 before taxes. That is an insane amount of money.
But obviously someone spent that kind of money and then proceeded to upgrade it. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Not, mm, I found it pretty exciting because I took apart a power book and I love these old things. Next on the agenda is to get a 12 inch power book. Because I have the TI book, power, um, the PowerBook G4 TI book, the normal 15 inch aluminum, 17 inch aluminum G4 power book, and now I just need the 12 inch one. Now my collection of those will be complete. I have a lot of stuff. Let me know in the comments down below if I should do a updated video on my computer collection. If you guys want that, I will gladly deliver. But I think I'm wrapping the video up here. I think I said that, but whatever. Um, but you guys know what to do. If you like the video, give it a like. If you dislike to give it a dislike. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And bye-bye.